Hi everyone, this is Tanya Milan from the Self Sufficient Homestead and today I'm going to show you how to make a sundew green onion top black Himalayan and pink Himalayan salt blend. I'm starting with gloves because I don't want to touch these guys with my bare hands. However, if you can see the humor in this, I don't know who knows what type of gloves these are. These are to test for pregnancy in your cattle. <laughs> This is all I have, so this is what we're going to do. Right, so I found an easy way to just take the pips out of these guys. I've got my apple core here, and I just put it inside, and then I just tap out the seeds, and I've got most of them out. There's like three left, but three is okay. I don't mind three. These just shouldn't be all of them inside there depending on how hot you want this right sundews are to me they are hot but to somebody that enjoys chilies they're probably not that hot so basically i'm just pressing down this apple core until i break the skin there and i can just take this top out okay so i'm going to be dehydrating these sundews in my excalibur dehydrator i've got the nine tray 48 hour digital model and I got mine from naturalwise.ca.za and I'll also be drying my green onions in there as well. So I'm just coming into the garden to pick those onion tops. Look, we've got stuff coming up. There's some radishes coming up. Here's a few carrots and this is lettuce all coming up really nice and this is Spook Spook is a cross she is a normal house type of cat crossed with some wild cat She's... okay so I've got enough sundews for one batch and I'm just going to chop these green onions roughly, not too small, because I don't want them blowing around in the dehydrator. That's good enough. Okay, so we've got our stuff here for our salt. Let's just remove the stuff from the tincture that we used earlier. Guys, if you want to learn how to make a herbal tincture, go check out on my YouTube channel. There is a video teaching you how to make a herbal tincture. Now this is what the Excalibur shelves look like. So it's got a big mesh with a finer mesh on top. And obviously you don't use it without your finer mesh. So let's load this up and um, get this in the dehydrator. So I'm just going to loosely put these onions on this tray. I'm probably going to get all of these onions on one tray. So putting that in. Okay, and another rack for my sundews. Now, these are similar to pepper dews, so if you just want to know the intensity of the flavor and the heat, that is what you would compare it to. I'm just going to spread it out. I didn't cut it up anymore. I'm very confident with the ability of the Excalibur dehydrator to dehydrate these pepper dews sufficiently. So they're all just about the same size, which is what you want to. I'm just going to move them around a bit. And I will be placing them inside here as well. So I will be using... This salt as well, the black salt, I'm going to put some of that in, and some coarse Himalayan salt with it. And just experiment with this specific blend of herbs and salt. Okay, so what's nice about Excalibur, um, they come with an instruction manual, so you don't have to thumb suck it. So it tells you all about the dehydrator itself. And then it gives you guidelines on what temperature for how long you need to do this at. So we're going to go for the peppers because that's the closest to the sundews. And that is at 50 degree, 52 degrees Celsius for 4 to 8 hours. Now the book has lots of recipes in here. 
which really makes it fabulous. So as I said, no thumb sucking. Everything you need is in this book. So switching on my Excalibur, there's a little switch at the back. And I'm going to take my temperature up to 52 degrees Celsius. And my time I am taking to eight hours. And we're going to press start. It's been about four and a half hours. So let's just check what's happening in the dehydrator. Can you hear them? They are getting nice and dry. Let's check our little peppers. Man, this is stunning. This is what I like about the Excalibur. It's so quick. So our dehydrator is finished and our sundews and our green onion tops are done. As you can see, they're nice and dry. So we're going to be using some of this. So let's just put this in here. I actually think we should use all of these green onion tops that we've dried. We're just going to use a little coffee grinder. I use this coffee grinder to grind my herbs for my herbal teas, etc. But it will be good for this as well. So let's just get this grinder. Okay, I don't want it 100% fine because I still want the grinder to be able to grind. So there is our green onion tops. Let's look what our sundews look like. Oh, these are perfect. Look at them. So we're going to put them in here too. Can you hear that? They okay, I think this should do. Okay, now we're going to compile our salt. So first of all, I got the salt from Nature's Choice. Um, they sent me a sample package in the week. Now I've gone and looked at what black salt is good for. Black salt, Himalayan salt, is rich in antioxidants and there already you've got me. <laughs> um, and then it's also rich in minerals like iron, magnesium, potassium. So for people with muscle cramps this is a good salt. And it also helps with the bile production in your liver. So for like my son who can't eat a lot of fatty products, um, I can give him some of this salt and it will increase his bile production which will help break down those fats. It also helps with acid reflux, it reduces the acid so it's not so much. And it's very low in sodium so people with heart conditions this is a good salt to use. Now this is the first time I'm going to be using black salt. It smells very neutral. However, let's taste it. It tastes like boiled egg. So maybe for somebody that is a vegan that wants an eggy flavor, this is going to be a good alternative. So I'm just going to add some to my bowl here. And I'm also adding some Himalayan salt, the pink one just for the salt because it's not really salty it's slightly salty so I think it's for me I would use this more for its benefits that it has for me um, more than the salt content this is looking pretty maybe a little bit more it in our console salt grinder or spice grinder this grinder is a 250 ml size little bottle with a very powerful grinder on top console did a really good job designing this this one and choosing what to use so we're just going to add this into our little spice bottle I'm still um, sucking on this piece of black Himalayan salt and all I taste is egg. <laughs> Egg's not bad though. If you do not like egg, you're not gonna like the salt. But I always say that sometimes in life you eat, drink things that are good for you 
even though you don't like the flavor. So if you don't like the flavor, and for instance, you need a salt with a lower sodium content, suck it up <laughs> and eat your black salt. Right. Oh, look at that. How pretty is this? So this is a sundew, green onion, pink and black Himalayan salt. I'm really excited to try this on my food and I will give you guys feedback on how this combination tastes. Anyway, so if you want to make your own spices, salt combinations, etc., have a look at the console bottles. They're really nice. Let me show you quickly. You just grind. Just close the lid. You can see how much. Really powerful little grinder. And look at the amount it's ground in that little bit of time. Just those three or four twists. So it's good salt grinders. And they are very well priced. If you buy them directly from console, they'll probably cost you in the region of 35 Rand, give or take. And you can buy bulk, which is great. I'm definitely, with my next order, going to order a box of these. Because I want to start making my own salts for the house. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Subscribe to the channel. I'd just love to keep making content for you. So please support me. Thank you. Bye-bye.